a non-sports card thread was made where people are buying, selling all of their non-sports cards. So movies, TV, history, music, Pokemon, as you can see there. So I went through the entire thread and I wanted to highlight a few things for you guys to both give them exposure and also just to show off some cool stuff. First things first here, 2021 Black Diamond Robert Downey Jr. Uh, pretty sick card. Pop one, I don't know if it's numbered, and I have no idea what this is worth, but they're asking 10,000. Some nice old Star Wars wax packs, feels like a fun buy. 80 bucks for the set, graded. $40 Japanese pro wrestling boxes. That's a fun rip, especially if you know Japanese. This is a baller card from High in Buffalo. Joey Chestnut with a game-worn uh, rookie patch auto. The t-shirt patch there is worn in an event. He's asking $1,400. Maybe that's a good buy, I don't know. We need to do some more research on comps and things like that, but if it's his only rookie patch auto, number to 40, and he's around for another 15, 20 years, there are documentaries made about him, he's in the Hot Dog Hall of Fame, who knows, who knows? Uh, that's a sick card. One of one Super Fractor 2021 Star Wars Galaxy of the famous A New Hope poster photo. I mean, that's as big as it gets in Star Wars. Asking 9,000 or best offer. John Williams, famous for doing the music for a lot of Harry Potter, Star Wars, many, many, many other uh, iconic films. Really cool signature uh, in this slab there. Sean Evans, the first We Feast Hot Ones host. These are rare, as he said, $200 shipped. Sean's awesome, so I'm a fan of that. And last but not least, since you're obviously looking for a 1984 squeaking gizmo, $20. There you go. That's the list. Uh, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this.